Hi guys, it's Tatiana from Twice Upon a Treasure. And today I wanted to show you how I am treating my lifesaver plant um, that got attacked by mealybugs. Now I have never in my life had an infestation this bad, but I wanted to show you guys um, basically how I treat it. And I hadn't noticed it because this was hanging up high on one of the planters like that. So I really didn't see it until I started seeing that the plant was really declining and when I pulled it down to my shock I mean it was just infested with these freaking things so that's what I've cleaned up so far and I've literally just had to tear it apart piece by piece because um, that's the easiest way to to clean it and um, and I've just used straight up alcohol right there 70% um, just alcohol it could be generic alcohol just whatever you know straight up alcohol you have and I take um, q-tips I just put the alcohol in a you know in a cup as you can see all that stuff down there is all like the dead mealy bugs and I just kind of take a paper towel here to rub them off on so this is a very tedious process a lot of people would probably just throw this away because they really don't want to deal with it but I I'll deal with it because this is a beautiful plant and I just, I don't want to throw it away. So I just wanted to show you guys these freaking things. Let me see if I can catch one moving. I used to be grossed out and petrified of these things, but now that I'm, I have so many plants, I just, I don't care anymore. I don't know if you can see it, I'm zoomed in. You see that big old mealy bug moving there? That white little freaking thing? Yeah. So those are mealybugs, okay? My plant is completely infested in them. You see them right there? So those aren't really moving much right now. But I mean, it is completely, I mean, just infested. I mean, I've never, ever had an infestation this freaking bad. You see all that right there? Those are all mealy bugs I mean it's disgusting I'm just like it's just disgusting I mean they're everywhere everywhere I mean they've even fall some have like fallen here on my mat so then I'm gonna like put alcohol in a spray bottle and just spray my whole mat you see that sorry I don't know that's disgusting They are everywhere. They're literally, even on the frickin' plant, even on the hang, hanging part of the planter. I just can't believe it. They're even up there. Like, I don't know if you can see that one crawling on the frickin' top part. Like, I'm gonna totally like, I'm gonna throw all this soil away I'm gonna spray the crap out of this fucking hanging planter and everything with alcohol, just pure alcohol. I mean, I just, I just can't believe it. They're fucking everywhere. Excuse my language. So, so basically, I don't have anything to hold this with. I mean, hold it with my other hand here, but I'm gonna show you what I've been doing kind of hard to work with one hand and I don't have a stand for my phone but I take it I dip it and excuse my dog hair all over here too I take this q-tip and I basically when I use my two hands basically I tear the pieces off and I go piece by piece that's why on the tray you're you know you can see where I've just torn the pieces off because it's just easier to work with it that way you know versus versus getting a big old chunk but so I only have one hand right now but this was the perfect opportunity to do a video I really never had infestations like this because I'm pretty good about using the granules I use bonide granules as a preventative all the time I just hadn't put it in this plant okay look I want to see do you see that little sucker crawling around right there it is oh my god it's disgusting I I love 
just freaking murdering them on the spot. So as I was saying, yeah, I usually use the bonide. See, like if one fell, I just grab it with this because I don't. I just I have so many plants I don't want it spreading anywhere. So I'm pretty good as I was saying about using the uh, you know the um bonide preventative granules in all my plants. I hadn't done it in this one and like I said it was so up high that I did not even realize it was this infested and I, I just can't believe it. But I don't want to lose it, and I know this can be saved, so that's why it's, I mean, this took me like four hours yesterday to do, here, to do those, it took me like four hours, and all those were just as infested as that pile, but I, I had to break piece by piece and use tons of, you know, Q-tips and break piece by piece, basically, to get it that clean. And then what I'm gonna do after, like I said, is then I'm gonna put a whole bunch of alcohol. Let me walk you over here just to show you. I'm gonna put a bunch of alcohol in a spray bottle like this and spray the crap out of that planter, out of the, um, the carpet and stuff over there. But see, these are my other healthy ones that are looking fantastic no issues at all these two nothing these are looking great that one was sitting up high and i'm really short so therefore i didn't know it was that infested and i just you know figured oh it's doing good but then i started seeing it it was turning yellow and it just wasn't looking like you know as good as those so i decided well let me kind of peek in there and see what the problem is and when I did yesterday was when I discovered that huge infestation. So I just thought it'd be a great time to do a video and show you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna clean the sucker up, throw away all this freaking soil, spray the crap out of it with um, um, alcohol, just pure alcohol. And it does not damage your plants and everything. You can use pure alcohol for this. Um, and then, oh yes, one other thing I wanted to show you, and then what I'm gonna do, in addition to that, when I get really bad infestations, I treat it, um, with this, even though I treated it with alcohol, I'll probably wait a couple days or so, and then I'm gonna spray, spray it with this, just because it was just so infested, I'm just paranoid and I want it to get better, but then as a preventative, I use this on my plants because I, you know, I live in Florida and it's just, you know, without fail, you're always gonna get some type of insect. And I'm honestly, I'm tired of dealing, I got tired of dealing with a different type of insects every freaking week. So that has really helped me a lot. Um, those bonide granules has really helped me a lot. So, so yeah. So anyways, leave comments if you have any of your questions, but I guarantee you that alcohol does not hurt your succulents um you know using pure alcohol will not hurt it i've done it before um so yeah so if you have any questions or anything just uh, leave a comment thanks